Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, is, uh, as you know, is about cover plates and about access holes. And um, if you're like me and you've closed your wing, there is a way to do a circle. I know uh, ovals are very nice, but up here I, I don't believe it's practical. So I went with a circle. And today I'll show you just exactly how I went about that and the materials I use and the okays I got. And uh, I wish I would have done it in the beginning, but better late than never. Well, the first thing I did is I drew up, I do have a cross member that I put a support in here. Um, I thought about, you know, why don't we just cut out a, make a square panel here, drop right down. Well, the problem with that is I can't get a, a wrench very easy on the back side of the nuts that are down there in bolts, which when we open this up, we'll, I'll show you that if you didn't, if you, if you don't know what that is. So the other thing is I've got a support across here that was put in here to reinforce my pedo. And the other thing is then once I cut this hole, I got to be able to reach up in and put two end wrenches in there. Um, maybe even uh, one, hopefully, is a torque wrench. But if I can't, I can always check them with two end wrenches. And you never put a hole close to what you want. You want to be able to get your hand in. So I actually, you know, drilled a hole 3.5 over here and practiced and seen how far I could reach and set it there. And I think that is the perfect spot for it. Don't want to be too far out or too far in. And by the end of this video, hopefully we'll know that. So that's the lightning holes. There's the small one and then there's a big one. And uh, the big one is only about four, four ribs over. So we've got one here, one there, one there, and the fourth and we're in. So that's not a very long stick at all. But the thing I'm gonna make is 40 millimeters wide. I am going to use uh, 0.025 sheet metal and uh it once i get that hole cut out of the center and the outside cut it should roll up pretty easy but that's our first task let's go get some metal out of the upstairs the other thing is that i wouldn't do this without okaying it with roger um he seemed to think that uh in a lot of places they just uh, go up with a thicker metal and only put the the hole cover in and bolt it to the skin but since I was reinforcing it, I could do it with the same gauge metal and making it a circle makes it stronger than an oval and uh, a square also, a, a circle is a lot stronger than a square. So he was okay with this idea. So. That should make a lot of parts. First thing I'm gonna do is start a center point. Let's make it right there. And then my hole is going to be three and a half. And then I'm going to change to millimeters and I'm going to go out so I have 10 millimeters on each side of the rivet measured from the center. Um, the first ring around is going to be where the nut plates will go and the second ring around will be uh, a 20 millimeter ring that uh, that will uh, support support it on the skin. That's going to be the final size of the access hole. This next jump is going to be the hole in the wing and the size of the access panel. So it will overlap 20 millimeters. The last one will be the skin where it rivets to the skin. 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. And now I'm measuring across halfway and getting a measurement. And there it is, masterpiece. 
We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 rivets. And I'm going to go with A5s because they hit the tolerances just fine and I like them, they're strong. Now we got to figure out when the nut plates go. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Seems like a lot. But if I just put four, that's not going to be sufficient. And the pitch of them. There it is. Worry about the little three thirty second. If this works out and we can roll it up, I have a feeling this metal is going to be a lot more pliable once it has a three and a half inch hole cut in and the outside cut. But there's our pattern. What'd that take? Two hours? <laughs> well, now that I got a pre precise pattern drawn up and I really like it and I think it really works, I'll put those two, I transferred those two measurements over to the sheet metal. Well, let's cut that out and see if that rolls up. Well, I had to make a couple decisions of, uh, I was thinking of making this out of a thicker gauge metal, like 40, so that I could countersink my nut plates. So uh, the, uh, the 25 is a little bit thin for countersinking solids, except I decided that it's only to retain the nut plates. So I, I think I can get away with that. Um, the only other reason I didn't use the 40 is because it doesn't fold up and going in, in my buckets. If I do it just one way and I don't put the nut plates in until it's in the plane, it'll keep a lot of its dignity. That, that right there will pass it through the four if I attach this to a stick and get that out. And it springs back really good. The only problem is if I was to put nut plates there, it would cause real kink points in holes. So the only thing I'll probably have on this will be the, uh, the rivet holes. They'll be pre-existing and in the skin and ready to, ready to rivet up. So I think the next thing I should do is uh, mark out my rivet pattern, at least drill out the A5 size and test bend it again in there and just see how, how it does handle it. The problem is I'm, I'm single focused once I get an idea and this going into a hole, it's more than four inches. That's quite the bend. And I didn't realize that, or I just realized that the hole here that will be cut out for the retaining ring is five inches. So this should, pass through that much easier so there'd be less damage. I can just slide it right in through that. The, this was a good test piece. Enough thinking. Let's get another one of these built and hopefully a really nice one ready to put in the plane. There, that looks really nice. That's my CNC machine, cut and clean. <laughs> it was a little off center, but that doesn't matter. I just was cutting it out because that's the biggest drill I've got. Well, the next one I got is way too big. So I'm going to nibble that out, sand that, get that right. And... making a tool when I can so I just took a piece of steel and uh, made it so that I could uh, fit those uh, 332nd nut plates together and so far it's working out pretty good I just line it up on there put this between the two holes down here so that the angle is the same Hold 
drilled here to put those in. Not too shabby. Counter sink these. Well, I got the cover made. I got the ring ready. I've tested it. I think I can get it through that five inch hole. Everything I can think of. And even if I had to, <clears throat> it would have to be put much smaller, but I think I could get it in in the end if I had to. This, so I have no way of cutting it other than just nibbling it away like we did the inside of this one. All right, let me get to it. Here goes nothing. I have to vacuum some of that out, pack it full of cloth. Well, I've told you I'll never hide my mistakes. Uh, right here is just about gave me a heart attack. It luckily was nothing. That scared me, man. The little 400 took it right out. It was just a scuff part. No more than you do if you're doing body work to it. But uh, that won't be up to the fact that I should put some protective tape around it. this way if anywhere so and that's the front I don't want to scratch the skin oh, and I can still I can bend it back I've got enough room in there oh that that worked great Well, 
look at there. You gotta sit back and just look at it for a few minutes and make sure that it's time to hook it in and I'm not making some big mistake. Well, let's test it. I can totally touch them. I just barely get my hand in there. Do I wish I would have done it when I had the skins on the table flat? You're darn right I do. That was stressful. I don't mind telling you. That was scary and stressful. But I'm so happy I got one done. I'm gonna do the other side, of course. Well, I looked at prices on the retaining rings online and I just saved myself a bunch of money too. Well, here I had some music playing in the background, so I just had to voice over. Um, these clicoed up and it matched almost right, except for on the right side there. So I'm going to uh, finish drilling those and finish sanding the gap and that'll be done. Nice. I'm putting solid ones in. Those A3s or N3s or Jan just got home, so I'm gonna go in and get a cup of coffee. Take a break from this. All right, let's see if that cover fits. All right, at least the screws fit in. Now I gotta mark it for where I'm gonna sand it. That has to be sanded. Got a nice gap right there. Nice gap right there. My little edge bender and make it concave slightly. I could try that. Wouldn't be too hard to make another cover. At least I got the whole pattern. Well, I put a little edge on it so that it would bite in I put a little edge on it so that it would try to lay flatter, but as you can see, it's kind of ripply. It's got little bump marks in it. So I'll either sand that and prime it and call it good, or I'll make another one. You didn't think I was gonna leave it like that, did you? Yeah, that's better. I like that better. I curved that one right here. I, I bent it in the vise slightly, and then down here, and then here. So it just uh, fits better. Under here. I like the clearance too. I got a better gap now, so I don't have to worry about paint bridging it. All right. Hey, if you like this one, hit like. If you feel like going along on the journey, please subscribe. I'd, I'd be honored. And I had a ball doing this one. All right, you guys. See you in the next one.